ก็เขาไม่ได้ให้ใช้ทุกศัพท์มาเทที่นี่นะในไม่ใช่ที่ศาลาเดียวไม่ใช่ที่วัดนะปิดเลยว่าก็ดีคนไหนที่อยู่นานของเราเก็บทุกศัพท์เอาไว้แล้วออกจากวัดนั่นมันจะกลับคืนฮะของเรามาเพื่อภาวนาไม่ใช่ดูโลกเลยเออทอกับใครนะคุยกับใครก็ได้นะแต่คนที่ที่อยู่น้อยกว่าเจ็ดวันก็ของเขาส่วนมากไม่ได้เก็บของไม่ได้ให้ใช้นะเอาใช่ไหมนะ <coughs> ไม่เป็นไรลูกก็เป็นลูกนะในเดี๋ยวนี้ของเราอยู่อยู่ที่วัดนะ <coughs> ก็จัดฉากลูกบ้างนะ <coughs> แต่เดี๋ยวนี้มันมันโทรศัพท์มาเฉยเลยมามาลุงตะก็พูดไปบ่อยก็เป็นโลกนั้นหรือของเราอะมาต้องใช้ไม่ต้องสนใจเกิดอะไรขึ้นมาสนใจที่เกิดขึ้นอะไรกับเรานะขี้เลทที่ขึ้นมาก็ต้องฝืนบ้างสินะมาแล้วเลยพิจารณาดูเลยตัดขี้เลทออกจากใจก็เมื่อเมื่อเมื่อกี้ก็สวดมนต์นะแต่ตอนตอนเช้าก็พูดเรื่องกรรมนะแล้วเมื่อกี้ก็สวดมันคำมาไดยาดาคำมาโยนิคำมาพันธุคำมาปฏิสารนายังคำมังคาริสันติกาลยานังวาปากาคังวาทัสดาดาดาภวิสันติทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างที่เกิดกับเรานั้นมันเกี่ยวส่วนมากก็เป็นกรรมของเราอย่าฟื้นมันรับกรรมนะมาเห็นไหมนี่มาจากไหนกรรมนี้มาจากไหนพิจารณาดูนะแล้วจำเอาไว้เนี่ยมันมันชาตินี้มนุษยชาตินะจากสามสิบเอ็ดภูมินะมันอันตรายที่สุดเพราะว่าของเราก็สําสร้างกรรมตลอดเวลาอะแล้วของเราเป็นทายาทของกรรมนะมันติดกรรมก็ติดเราฮะมันมันตัดเอาก็ไม่ได้อ๋อนี่เข้าใจไหมต้องระมัดระวังอะไรคุยอะไรคิดนะอะไรทำนะคิดคิดก่อนทำคิดก่อนพูดนะเนี่ยนี่ที่สำคัญสตินะแล้วฝึกสติกับภาวนาภาวนาพุทโธพุทโธพุทโธนะรูปพุทโธพุทโธชาพุทโธเรียววะเรื่องรูปพุทโธนั้นมันเหลียดทำไมละเอียดเนี่ยลมหายใจเข้าเมื่ออันทำอันพันสัตติก็เหมือนกันนะลมก็ก็ละเอียดก็ไม่ละเอียดนะลมกําลังเข้ามาลมกําลังออกไปนะนี่ต้องรู้ตลอดเวลาเนี่ยก็ฝึกสัตติเรื่องกรรมก็ตอนตอนเช้าก็พูดมามากอยู่แล้วนะเดี๋ยวนี้ก็ของเราอยู่ที่นี่อยู่ที่วัดนะเดินชงคมนั่งสมาธิเดินชงคมนั่งสมาธิฮะไม่ได้ไม่ได้มาเพื่อนอนฮะนอนสบายฮะเข้าใจไหมฮะพักพ่อในใจมันไม่ใช่พักพ่อในในบนบนหมอนนะพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจพักพ่อในใจฟังยังฟังยังฟังฟังสุขฟัดฟัดฟัดฟัดถอยถอยดีก็บางทีก็ถอยก็ไม่เป็นไรฮะเมื่อเคลิดมันนักนะมันถอยก็ได้แต่ต้องรู้มันจะถอยฮะนี่ที่สําคัญนะไม่ใช่อ่ะนอนรู้โอ้ยสูไม่ไหวนอนดีกว่าฮะแต่พรุ่งนี้ก็จะฟัดอีกนะฟัดอีกนึงฮะหนึ่งนาทีกว่าก็สองนาทีก็สามนาทีนะนี่นะมัน <coughs> มันมันไม่เสียเปรียบเข้าใจไหมคนแก่คนแก่ก็ไม่มาจากไหนเนี่ยคนที่หนังที่สองนะคนแก่มาจากไหนมันหูหนวกแล้วมาจากบ้านตากเลยว่าอ่าบ้านตากจำบ่ได้แล้วอยู่อยู่ปันตาดนานไหมเป็นคนปันตาดเนี่ยอ๋อคนปันตาดแล้วนี่คนปันตาดมันกันเหรอปูดอนเนื้อจำลุงพ่อได้ไหมไม่บอกแล้วจำท่านได้ตั้งแต่ตั้งมาบวชหรือไม่อ๋อโอเคโอเค
โอเคพยายามนะนะมันก็รู้นะเวลาเป็นลูกปันตาดนะมันจะรู้นะมันลุงตาก็พูดอะไรฮะภาวนาภาวนาภาวนานะฮะฝืนกิเลสนะโอเคคนไทยที่ที่ไม่เข้าใจภาษาอังกฤษก็ก็พอได้กลับใจแล้วนะเดินชงกรมนังสมาธิวันนี้ลมพลเลยทุกเดียวไม่รู้ไม่ต้องทำสั่วสั่วมากเอเนอร์จีผมว่าใช่ใช่ผมเป็นคำถามที่ง่ายที่สุดนั่นคือง่ายที่สุดผมในวันนี้ผมพูดกับท่านถึงเรื่องการสร้างสรรค์และเมื่อเราเรียนฉันไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่สามารถจำได้ว่าผมไม่ส
being, you know, it comes back at least 1,000 times. You know, if you do it to an arahant, it comes back indefinitely. Indefinitely. So, be careful. It's only our oh, good chance that there are not many arahants around anymore. <laughs> but at the time of uh, Lumpuman, Lumpusau, there were lots of arahants, you know. And you, should, you should have been really careful. Yeah? Isn't there a story in the, uh, in the, in this, in the uh, what is it? In the Padipada, you know, where one, one of the novices, or was it the lay person, you know, pissed on the fire, where, where he cooked, you know, some water, hot water for an arahant because he was so angry, you know. <laughs> and then the result of his coming was there was a lion around his tent, you know, <laughs> all night long, you know, growling, growling, growling. Yeah? <clears throat> so, I mean, not be careful, you know. Yeah? <clears throat> Think. Think before you open your mouth, eh? mm. and think before you do, eh? and only do the things that you want to receive. Eh? I mean, if you want to be, if you want to receive to be beaten up, then beat up people. Yeah, but nobody likes to be beaten up. Yeah, so come, karma is, is is something that is something that is really difficult to understand because we think all the things that happen to us come from outside. No. I mean, it is also our karma that we are here, that we are here in this place where we can practice the Dharma. Yeah? It is our good karma. Yeah? <clears throat> I don't know if I am as a teacher, am I good karma or bad karma? You know, I mean, this is something you have to decide for yourself. Yeah? So be, be careful about, you know, what you, what you think, what you say and what you do. Yeah? And remember, you know, remember that, that you should have sati. Yeah? And we train our sati with, with doing, you know, with doing samadhi, with training samadhi, knowing the breath, you know, or knowing the Buddha, yeah, knowing each detail of the breath. The more we know the detail of the breath or the detail of the Buddha, the better our sati develops, yeah. And that is, that is the key, yeah? Sati panya, yeah, are the key weapons in order to defeat the kilesa, yeah. If you don't have enough sati, I mean, if we are an analyzing very good, you know, I mean, just like in the Zoom session, there is there's one person, you know, I mean, who, he, he's a, he has a very strong analytic mind, yeah? But it doesn't help if you don't see clearly, yeah? And we can only see clearly if we have sati, yeah? That is so, so important. So let's train, train, train sati, you know, I mean, <clears throat> and bring the mind back, yeah? And I don't know when I said it, probably this morning to the chairman, uh, be earnest, you know, when the mind goes out, yeah? Be really strong, strong-handed when the mind goes out to bring it back. But once the, once the mind is on the Buddha or on the, or on the breath, yeah? I mean, then be soft-handed, yeah? Just follow, yeah? Drop into the Buddha or drop into the, drop into the breath, yeah? But the moment the mind goes out, goes out thinking or goes out memorizing, then use the strong hand to bring it back. Yeah? Once it is back, then enjoy it. Yeah? And don't worry and, and especially let go of all the expectations that come up. Now I'm close, now I'm close, now I'm close. Right? Because when, when you think now I'm close, you're already off. You're off the track because you're already thinking. Yeah? And it's the same thing. Oh no, I need to do this. Or no, I sit, need to sit like this. Or no, I, my practice is not going right. I mean, this is of the practice. Any kind of thought that comes in that is not Buddha or it's not the attention on the breath, I mean, it's a distraction and it can lead us, you know, it can lead us to worries, it can lead us to frustration, it can lead us, you know, to expectations, you know, and, and you know, just, just stop, yeah? I mean, if it doesn't, if, it, if you cannot stop it, you know, open your eyes and start anew. Yeah? There's nothing wrong with starting anew. Yeah? Don't try to drag on because that doesn't bring any fruit. Yeah? <clears throat> the clarity, you know, that you watch, you observe your breath, or the clarity that you are with the Buddha, that is important. Yeah? Not to go through, yeah, two hours to drag it through, you know, I mean, half, yeah, with half sati or half awareness. Yeah? No. Yeah? Then just stop, you know, okay, now I do it again, you know, full sati. Yeah? And, and the breath doesn't disappear and the Buddha, you know, doesn't disappear or gets slow or, you know, yeah. 
No, it's the interest that disappears. Huh? And with this opening our eyes, you know, or you don't have to open the eyes, you know, just, right, just, just have a, a, tell yourself, okay, now I start again, yeah? And if you see you've gone out too far, okay, now I start again. We always start again. I myself started all the time again. Yeah? In the beginning I was striking on and it didn't lead to anything. Ah, oh, no, I need to go through that, yeah? Yes, we need to go through it, but not with this kind of mind state, yeah? We need to go through our one hour, or two hour, or three hour, but you know, we can, we can stop, you know, I mean, we can stop and say, okay, now I start again, putto, 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 or, you know, observing the breath, you know, putting our attention on the breath. That is much better than, you know, just like our tracking, oh, now, now it's coming close, now it's coming close. No, you are far away. Okay, understood? Okay, now the question. Uh, if you have, if any one of you have questions, then, you know, I mean, can, you can ask them now, and otherwise, you know, we, we, we read the questions here. So the first question. Yeah. Are you sure that I will have a good rebirth if I meditate, follow the five precepts from now, and become a monk in the forest tradition in Thailand, after taking care of my parents, and when I am left alone in this world? <laughs> After I take care of my parents, you know, I mean, I die, you know, and nothing of the other things have happened, yeah? <clears throat> I mean, what he does, you know, if he follows this, you know, if he follows the mindset, you know, if he follows the precept, you know, and, and uh, I mean, even if he becomes a monk, eh, or go, just goes to a monastery and meditate, yes, of course his next life will be better, yeah? But, we should not forget the karma that we have sown in the previous life, you know, that will still come back to us, yeah? Huh? So I don't, I, I cannot answer that with, with, with a completely confidence, yes, yes, it will, it, yes, it probably will become better, but, you know, he always has to remind himself, I mean, of the karma that he still has in store. I, I'm out. I'm always talking about, you know, in this life we, we take two bags with us, good karma and bad karma, huh? when we are born as a human being, and that is the karma that we live off from our previous life. And then, you know, I mean, we, <clears throat> it is just like traveling, you know, you, you take your suitcase, you know, and you took the things that you need for the, for the trip, you know, and, but along the trip you, you buy this and you buy that and you know, you, you look at this and look at that and you might throw out some of the suitcase because you see you don't need it anymore, yeah? <clears throat> but you pack in new things and new things and then you come back home, you know, you unpack everything and then you pack again for the next trip, yeah? So I don't know what he's going to pack in for his next life, yeah? But you know, I mean, of course what he does, you know, the things that he said, what he does, it always leads to good karma and it, yeah, but about the rebirth, I don't know, yeah, probably yes, yeah, and especially, you know, if he's very mindful at the state of his death, yeah, because then he can choose, yeah, I mean, we have every moment we can choose, you know, to go this way or that way or, yeah, I mean, we have seven, we have sixteen, sixteen different roads that we can go on to, yeah? and one free chart. Yeah? So, I mean, if he's away in the moment of death, he can choose where to go. If he, he can go and, and have his good karma first, or he can go and, and take care of his bad karma. That's up to him. Yeah? But the things that you said is always leading to good. Yeah? There's, no, there's no doubt about that. Okay, next. So, to summarize, this person has a question about meditation. Um, they've been practicing for a couple of years now, and they have heard Tanajan and other monks criticize techniques that sound reasonable and true to himself. Yeah. Um, and thus, he has kind of started to learn Anapanasati, but now his problem is he has constantly doubt going on in his mind, is this the right technique or not? And should I switch back? This uh, I'm already used to the old method. Should I stick with the old method? But what and what is the old method? He doesn't say. Probably no. It's the abdomen rising I'm and falling. Guessing, yeah, because yeah, he, no. does, he does noting as well. The doubting, doubting, doubting. Like he notes. <clears throat> his teacher tells him to note. Things. I mean, 
It is not completely wrong in the beginning to note, you know, I mean, note that there's a thought coming in, note that there's a feeling coming up, yeah? but he should, you know, I mean, this will be, this will be detrimental, you know, to really reach a state of samadhi, yeah? And doubt, you know, where does it come from, yeah? I, I said in the last Zoom session, you know, it was very clear, yeah? I mean, if you're with the Buddha, if you're with the breath, yeah, then you're on the right path. Yeah? If you know the Buddha, yeah, or you know that the Buddha is there, or if you know that the breath is there, that the breath is coming in, breath is coming out, then you're always on the right path. Everything else, you're on the wrong, yeah? When you start to think, even doubt, you know, when doubt is a thought, yeah? So, you're out. So you're on the wrong path, yeah? You're driven out of your samadhi. So that, is, that is the best help, you know, I can give, you know. If you're with the Buddha, if you're with the breath, you're on the right path. If you're not, then you're not. You're gone. Okay? Next question. Maybe to add to that, just like he's consciously been training his mind to not develop samadhi because his teacher says samadhi and jhanas can be a distraction and cause yeah, yeah. to become addicted. That's why the Lord Buddha said sila, samadhi and panya, huh? Yeah? I mean, sila, samadhi and panya is the house, you know, is the is a fundament, is the basis of our house of Nibbana that we build on. Yeah, if one of the if one of the columns is missing, our house will not never be stable. Yeah. So sila are the five precepts. Samadhi is the <coughs> development of concentration. Is the development of sati. Yeah, of this awareness. Yeah, and without the sati, I mean, how often do I have to explain it? Without the sati, we don't see clearly. We are like blind people, people who don't have sati. Yeah. And if you don't know what sati is, eh? if you have sati, I didn't know it, you know, until I came, you know, to see Lumta Mahabur. Eh? He explained it very clearly. If you have a moment of sati, then in this moment there are no kilesas. That means there are no thoughts and there are no memories popping up eh? and fooling you. Eh? So, <clears throat> did I answer the question? I yeah. went off a little bit. I mean, he didn't even really ask a question. So. Yes. Okay. And then the last one. Um, so first is biography, which I will skip, but a very old Sri Lankan person, yeah. 89 years old. Um, the important part, I think of death and how to die in order to be born as a human being so that my next birth I can fulfill the ambition of becoming a monk and attain enlightenment in the next life, I guess. Yeah, work, to yeah. work towards it, yeah. I mean, first of all, keep the five precepts, and you know, once a week, keep the eight precepts. Yeah, I mean, that is the work towards becoming, a, you know, becoming an ordained or becoming a monk. Yeah, and I mean, the human life, you know, I mean, keeping the five precepts guarantees you to become back as a human being. Yeah, but the most important thing, you know, if you want to decide, you know, at the point of death, yeah, is to have sati at the moment of death. Yeah. Just like when he's on a crossroad, you know, he can choose different paths to go, yeah? But most of the time, you know, people don't have sati in the moment of death, so the heaviest karma is leading to leading them to the reaper, yeah? And in most cases, for normal, normal people, it is the, the case of hell, yeah? <clears throat> Some people are more lucky and, and they are just born as ghosts, yeah? Other people are very unfortunate, yeah? more unfortunate, you know, than, than hell is being born as an animal. Yeah? Even though it is not as, yeah, as, as, uh, as tough, you know, as hell, but, you know, I mean, it's unfortunate because coming back from the, from the animal realm, what did the Lord Buddha say? Yeah. I mean, what is it, a sea turtle, you know, diving up in the big ocean, you know, and there's a there's a lifesaver, you know, when, when does it put its neck through the lifesaver, you know, that's when it comes back. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. as I said, yeah, be, be mindful at the time of death, yeah, and then you can choose where to go, yeah. If you want to go to heaven because you see there is no, there is no place of, of, um, of uh, Buddhism anymore or nobody preaches the correct type of, of the teachings of the Lord Buddha, yeah, then 
then just don't come back, you know, and just go to heaven for a while and wait until the, the teachers come back, you know, until the next Buddha, yeah? <clears throat> Otherwise, you know, I mean, live like a recluse, you know, I mean, if you come back in the human realm. Live like a recluse, you know, don't be interested in what the world is telling you. But that needs a law, that needs a strong mind and strong determination. Okay, so questions are answered. There are questions here? No? Uh, sorry, yeah, this personal, uh, personal uh, question. Uh, my father passed away last year, and uh, I'm thinking that um, I'm not good, I'm not like happy, good enough. How come you have come across this uh, issue? <clears throat> Ask your father for forgiveness. When you, when, after your meditation, yeah, ask, ask your father for forgiveness, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry that I didn't take care of you, you know, and share the merit of your practice with him, and that's it, and then forget about it, yeah. I mean, you can do it three times, you know, or three times or five times, but then forget about it, because then it is coming from the Kilesa who want to disturb you, yeah. So do it three or four times, you know, maybe, you know, at most five times, and then it is gone and it's over, yeah? But you can share, you know, always, you know, you can share the merit of your practice with your parents, yeah? I mean, they can receive 100% of your practice, of your merit that you share with them, yeah? Because, yeah? <clears throat> so, I mean, that is always helpful, yeah? I mean, what you have done is the past and you cannot correct it, yeah? So you just ask him for forgiveness, yeah? But the, the sharing of merit, of course, you can do every time, you know, you practice, yeah? Or every, every you know, sometimes, you know, give something in his name, yeah? That, that, is, yeah, that is independent of the other thing, yeah? But the other thing, what you're talking about is the guilt, you know? I mean, that comes from the kilesa. And that's why we should, you know, I mean, that's why in our practice we should keep the five precepts, yeah? Because if we go against the precepts, you know, the kilesas constantly come up in our practice with it, yeah? Ah, look what you've done, look what you've done, yeah? And then you have to, yeah? That's why we keep the precepts from now on, yeah? No matter what I've done in the past, because what I've done in the past is gone, you know, and I will have to receive the fruits of it, yeah? Be it good fruits or bad fruits, yeah? So forget about it, yeah? But from now on, I, I keep the five precepts or the eight precepts, yeah? And now I don't have to worry about anything, yeah? So when the kilesas are coming up, you know, just chuck them off. Yeah? Because, yeah, I mean, we cannot correct the past, yeah? Whatever mis misdeed we have done, yeah? As I, as I told you, I mean, I was in the same, I, I had sometimes the same trouble, you know? I said, okay, huh? What did you do, you know, okay, this is seven days in hell, this is a year in hell, this is five years in hell, and then I counted and counted and counted up until 30 or 40 years in hell, you know, and I said, okay, I'll forget it. Yeah? And then it never came up again. Yeah? I just acknowledged, you know, what I did, you know, and that is enough, yeah? And I was prepared, you know, I, I'm prepared, you know, to receive, you know, to, to receive the punishment, you know, for it, you know, for whatever I did that and then forget it. Don't let it bother you, because then it's the Kilesa is trying to, to bother you with this, and that's really, you really re remind yourself, that's why we keep the eight precepts, because then we are clear. Yeah. Yeah. Since I came to this monastery, I, yeah, or since I ordained, yeah, I mean, I told myself, since I ordained, yeah, I, I keep the 227 precepts, huh? okay, there, there's no worry about it. Any other question? And then we could just go back to practice. Pam 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 How are you doing? Yeah, okay, okay, no. It's not yet okay. More effort. Okay. I don't know. Hmm? Yeah, speak up a little bit. <clears throat> when I was uh, in Sri Lanka uh, and the teacher, I had a lot of uh, thoughts about he, he is not teaching me. And then uh, after a while, I understood that there are some mind 
very inhabit kind of things and, and, and not so obedient and very difficult uh, me to take something uh, from him. Yeah. And uh, sometimes when I talk with Mark and some lay people here and here and, and Sri Lanka, some most of the time think uh, teacher should uh, teach us or but now I understood it, we should learn from him, uh, is true or not? And uh, the other question is, uh, most of the time uh, people, uh, it's very difficult to understand the realization, uh, the, the, the find a teacher who realizes the Dhamma, so someone who can remember the Tripitaka and also can give a long discourse of things like sometimes. Some of you uh, came to, uh, to yeah. Yeah. But what is your question? Yeah. Uh, the question is uh, how much it takes for someone for someone practice to be in a, a, a teacher who understands the Dhamma or realizes the Dhamma. Of course, that is the best thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I mean, to be with a teacher, you know, who knows, you know. Yeah? who knows what you're going through or who knows or who understands the Dhamma to the highest. That's why I went to see Lungta Mahapur, because I knew he knows. And just being with him, you know. I mean, Lungta Mahapur was giving two or three talks a year. Yeah? But, you know, he was looking out for us, yeah. And that was silent, you know. Sometimes it just looked at us, you know, and, you know, it's it just like burning a bullet in your heart, yeah? Yeah? So you know you did something wrong. And if he, if he, if he wasn't around, you, you, you know you, you're okay, yeah? But if he suddenly, you know, was behind your back, you know, and you got startled, then you know that you were doing something wrong. Yeah? I mean, there, there are many ways of teaching, yeah? Of course, it is the best thing, you know, to be with a good teacher, yeah? <clears throat> so you have to look, but not every teacher, yeah? Even if he's a very good teacher, he's, he's not a teacher for everyone, yeah? I mean, Lungda Mahabur said it of himself, he said, I'm, for a, diff for a certain type of people, I'm a very good teacher, but for other people, I'm not, because Every person of us, you know, has a, it has a different kind of character. I mean, he was a hate character, yeah? So he could all, he could guide the people with, who are very easily aggravated, yeah? He could guide them very, very well, yeah? And he can instantly, you know, incite your anger that you still is in you, or that you think you don't have anymore, and then he, you know, then he just uh, goes on your... <coughs> What uh, tr trips on your in, on your foot, you know, and then ask you if it hurts, yeah? yeah, and so you know, yeah. But on the other hand, there's another type, and that is called greedy people, yeah. And for greedy people, I mean, he didn't have the experience because he was it was not his character, yeah. So for this kind of people, there's another teacher, yeah. So. If you feel for, if you feel you know comfortable with the teacher, you know, stay with the teacher and learn as long as you can learn something from him. Yeah. If you feel you know you cannot learn anything from him, then just leave. Yeah. You, sometimes I uh, get, uh, yeah, you sway around. You know, I mean, you think too much. Yeah. That is the problem. I mean, get into samadhi, and then you know what is right, and you know what is wrong. Yeah? yeah. Stop your thinking, yeah? and learn the patimu. Yeah? That also stops thinking, yeah? Okay? <coughs>